Secretary General is appalled by the escalation of military activity in and around Rafah by the Israeli Defense Forces. These developments are further impeding humanitarian access and worsening an already dire situation. At the same time, Hamas goes on firing rockets indiscriminately. Civilians must be respected and protected at all times in Rafah and elsewhere in Gaza. For people in Gaza, nowhere is safe now. The Secretary General reiterates his urgent appeal for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire and for the release of all hostages. He calls for the Rafah crossing to be reopened immediately, and we must have unimpeded humanitarian access throughout Gaza. Uh, the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East reports that families continue to flee Rafah in search of safety. The agency estimates that as of yesterday, nearly 450,000 people had been displaced from Rafah in the last week. UNRWA says families are fleeing wherever they can, including to rubble and sand dunes. As we have said repeatedly, all parties must respect international humanitarian law at all times. This means that civilians must be protected and their, uh, their essential needs, including food, shelter, water, and health, must be met wherever they are in Gaza and whether they move or stay. Darfur and Sudan. Meanwhile, our colleagues in the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs say that yesterday in the West Bank, Israeli settlers attacked aid trucks bound for Gaza. The settlers offloaded and vandalized the vehicles at the Tarkamiya checkpoint and near the barrier by Betawa. Several trucks were damaged. Israel must protect against violence by Israeli settlers and ensure that all allegations of settler violence are investigated and the perpetrators are prosecuted.